no, I'm going to put my character on my poster. I'm going to retrieve my vector character on Illustrator, which I copy and paste on Photoshop as a smart layer. I just have to tick smart layer. I put it at 100%. No, smart layers are interesting because I'm going to be able to double click on my layer and my smart object is going to open on Illustrator. Right now, I just want to retouch our hairstyle a little and the changes are made on Photoshop. No, the flow is really perfect. I'm also going to add texture. I'm going to use Capture. I really like the wooden table. It's perfect. I'm going to find it again directly in my library. Here is a new shape. So, I drop it in my Photoshop file. I'm going to select the part where I would like to add the texture and create a mask on the texture. I change the blending mode to multiply and I lower the opacity a little. There we go! Now then, I'm going to also add a curve and just use the blue elements of my illustration to give her a side that is a little more purple and sunny. I'm also going to add a gradient in the yellow tones because it all takes place during the summer, combine my layers and change the mode to overlay. No, my entire vector side that was a little stack has been broken up by the lights and the textures that I just took from the table. Sounds satisfied with the color. I save it. And my character is on the poster. Now it's your turn to create a poster during the online creative jam. Your poster can be static or animated. Show us why you want to come to Adobe Max. It's up to you now.